I'm Patrick Green. I teach at the International School of Prague where I manage the one-to-one -one laptop program and integrate technology with teachers in their classrooms. Uh, today I would like to demonstrate to you what I think is a really great way that you can support math students beyond your classroom. Uh, actually you can support math students around the world. Many teachers start off their math class with uh, working on uh, solving some problems for students that the students struggled with. So I might ask my students what problems from last night's homework did you struggle with and get a few uh, numbers, 1, 10, 15. I will take one of them and usually I will solve that on the board, uh, on a whiteboard or with this method I would use my bamboo tablet and I would record it while I'm solving it for the students. The big deal, the, the big thing here is that I'm not ever going to do that problem in class again because I'm going to screencast it, upload it to YouTube, and then if my next class comes in and has a, has, is struggling with that same problem, I'm going to tell them that problem's already done. You can watch it later in class or at home tonight. Uh, is there another problem that you struggled with? And then I would work out that problem. And there my first class can now go back later when they get home and look at the other problem that I worked out in class. And if I'm teaching two or five of the same classes, then I'm, I'm making this repository larger and larger. There's a couple great things about this method. I think, number one, it's a time saver. It doesn't take much time to click record and then click send to YouTube. Uh, and I'll show you how, to, how I do that. Um, but it's, another great thing is that it gets better with time. It just continues to grow year after year. You're adding more and more. You never do the same problems and eventually um, when students are at home, they can actually access the solutions while they're doing the homework. So just in time learning. Some students, yes, they're going to look at the answer. And do, but, but I think when we have conversations with students about the fact that they can look at the solutions if they're struggling with it, and then that helps them learn. It, the goal is not to get the homework done, but it's actually to learn. And so, so we would have those conversations. I have no problem with them having the solutions. Another great thing is that there's all sorts of differentiation. You can just work one problem out, let the, the kids that are not struggling get on with their next assignment. You can then let uh, the kids that are really struggling watch replay, slow down, uh, pause, and, and really work through that video at their own pace. Um, the other thing you can do is the students that get done with their work early, they can now be your uh, YouTube screencasters and they can work on some of the other problems that students struggled with. Give them the, let them use the smart board, give them your bamboo tablet and let them do the screencasting and you're just growing that repository. So I'm just going to show you how I do it myself. I work on a Mac so I have OS X running, I have QuickTime to screen record and I use a bamboo Wacom tablet. So I'm using Apple's QuickTime player for one because it's easy but also because it is built into the Apple operating system. I go up here to File, New Screen Recording. I quickly need to check and make sure that my microphone is the correct microphone. I then hit the Record button and Start Recording. To write, I'm using a PDF annotator called Formulate Pro to, to work out my uh, math problem here, but you could use a smart board or any other sort of device that you can write on your screen. When I hit stop recording, QuickTime opens up the screen capture or movie file, which I can resize and play. But the real beauty of using QuickTime is that you can quickly upload your video to YouTube and get back to teaching your class. To do this, go up to Share, YouTube, and in the drop down window, go to Education, give it a title, give it a short description maybe a couple tags to help other people search and find this video and then click next you're just uh, going to agree that this is your copyrighted material and then the YouTube uh, uploader starts and it begins to put this video on YouTube and at this point you can get back to your class and work with them you can feel good in knowing that you will never have to work out this problem again and that it is it is up online for your future classes to see um, maybe some of your previous classes that you had that morning as well as the rest of the world quickly I think you will find that this will save you time and with that extra time you can use the real power of YouTube for teachers we all know that the real power of YouTube is looking up 
uh, finding out about all of those things that the students are talking about in the hallway that we've never heard about before, like the honey badger. <laughs>